Wednesday, March 20th, 7.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, remember back about three days ago when the Schumann Resonance was showing a disturbance that lasted for the better part of 24 hours. And we did a video about the anomaly, don't know exactly where it was coming from. And there was a wide variety of people that commented on feeling tired that day, maybe a little extra energetic. It affects people, I think, in different ways. And there's a story that just came out a couple of days ago about how humans are sensitive to the magnetic field of Earth. And the Schumann resonance is a part of the electromagnetic spectrum of planet Earth, which is all part of the electromagnetic field. And here's a story here from sciencenews.org dated March 18th of 2019. And a study was recently conducted to see if people's brains did respond to the magnetic field of Earth. And the findings were quite surprising. Um, people can sense Earth's magnetic field, brain waves suggest. A new study hints that humans have magnetoreception abilities similar to some other animals. And you know what? Honestly, I've said all along, I've said for years that humans are biological antennas. So it really didn't surprise me that much. It's just that they don't know what it's for goes on to say a new analysis of people's brain waves surrounded by different magnetic fields suggests that people have a sixth sense for magnetism. Birds, fish, and some other creatures can sense Earth's magnetic field and use it for navigations. Science, uh, scientists have long wondered whether humans, too, boast this kind of magnetoreception. Now, by exposing people to an Earth-strength magnetic field pointed in different directions in the lab, Researchers from the United States and Japan have discovered distinct brainwave patterns that occur in response to rotating the field in a certain way. The findings reported in a published or a study published uh, online March 18th in eNeuro offers evidence that people do subconsciously respond to Earth's magnetic field. But here's the thing, they found something interesting. Um, but one thing we have to keep in mind, all of the subjects were, uh, in, that were involved in the study, this was conducted in the Northern Hemisphere. And one thing that they did learn was that all of the responses to the magnetic fields, people pointed down. They responded to the downward energy, not the upward. So they're wondering if it's because of the Northern Hemisphere. It uh, goes on to say, uh, talk about it in the article, and quite possibly if they did the study in the Southern Hemisphere that uh, subjects may uh, respond to the upward energy. But sure enough, they did respond to the energy of the magnetic field, which was a great discovery, you know. Humans are biological antennas. We are just like the Earth. The Earth is a biological antenna, and so are we. I've always thought that. I still feel that to this day. We're very sensitive to a lot of things. We're sensitive to the sun and different aspects of the sun, coronal holes especially. I did a study many years ago about the effects of coronal holes on humans, and I did that study myself, which it required a small army because there's just too much data for one person to try to manage efficiently. But I did notice a trend with a variety of people that participated, and it was just a, a very casual study. You know, when a coronal hole would face the Earth, we would pay attention to any type of possible symptoms or side effects that we may be feeling during the high-speed uh, solar wind from the coronal hole. And it depended on a lot of factors, but some people were definitely... Uh, reacting to the energy from the coronal hole on a consistent basis. When the coronal hole would turn away from the Earth, then they would go back to normal. You know, you, some people might experience being extra hungry during those time frames. A wide variety of things. You'd be very, very surprised. So this here didn't surprise me. Humans do, in fact, respond to energy from Earth's magnetic field and more than likely, very strongly, to the Schumann resonance of planet Earth, which is part of the magnetic field. Got some interesting pictures to share with you guys. This one was sent in by Bob M. Not exactly sure of the location, but that is a spectacular photograph. Thank you, Bob. I want to thank everybody for sharing your pictures. I'm getting to them slowly but surely. There's several new ones in the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website. 
This is another one sent in by Bob M. You can see a really cool, I don't know if this is a sunset or a sunrise. It almost looks like a sunset. Got some sort of an angled sharp cloud in the sky. Got some really neat photographs. This one here too, Deanna. I think this is from Michigan. Neat picture there. Good observation, Deanna. Look at that. Here's another great photograph. This was sent in by Kim. Not exactly sure of the location, but awesome cloud with the sun in the background illuminating the outer edges of this big cloud here. Very neat photograph. Almost looks like a painting. Here's another one of those big long lines in the sky. This one's kind of got a curve down here towards the end of it, but if you look off into the far distance you can see it does extend but it looks like a big shelf up in the sky with a straight edge and that's what I was talking about they really don't know exactly what causes this right here they really don't something kind of new I suppose big double rainbow from Lucianne out of Brazil seeing a lot of double rainbows lately seeing more of those than we do singles Good photograph here by David from Rhode Island. Spectacular. I think this is a sunrise from the upper northeast coast. Really neat photograph here taken by Karen from Wildemore, California. Looks like a big angel with their wings open in the sky. And that thing was uh, rather large. Look at that. She said she'd never seen anything like that in her life captured a probably once in a lifetime photograph there good job karen really appreciate it monique out of reno nevada big long i'm assuming this is a roll cloud but again it's another one of those straight linear clouds that i've got a video i'm going to be sharing later of this cloud and some other videos that she uh, sent in but this goes for a long long way in both directions also from reno nevada monique this is the same cloud a few hours later from the same location. You can see it's still there. It's changed shape just a little bit, and now it's taking on color as the sun is going down. So now it looks like bright orange and pink, but that's the same cloud that I just showed you in the picture prior to this one. So great photographs, guys. I uh, sure do appreciate it. Keep them coming. Got a lot of platforms we're going through, get a lot of emails every day, probably getting around 100 a day. Um, and that's awesome. It's just a little time consuming to get through them all and properly thank everyone, which I like to do. And that's what I'm going to do. So I get to them slowly, but surely. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day and be safe out there.